to the UN Tool Parade, the Teacher to Teacher open overview of what EdTech can do for you from the University of Windsor's Faculty of Education. I'm Olivia, and today we're talking Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a social learning platform that is both visual and interactive. It allows educators to set up discussions on a topic of their choice and have their students respond in a video format. Students can then engage with one another, creating a web or grid of conversation. You can use it to have students explain concepts to one another, ask a closing question at the end of your lesson, or collaborate with other classrooms by sharing your class's URL. From there, you can grow your grid as large or as small as you want by having your students collaborate. Flipgrid offers a Twitter feed and a teacher's guide, so if you're new to the platform, you can get support, and they post new ideas nearly every day. Now you may be thinking, video responses? That's gonna let my class clown leave me a rather choice three-minute video. However, Flipgrid does censor for vulgar and profane language, so they've got your back. Now, such a cool tool has to make money somehow, right? And you're correct, but they don't make their money in the traditional way. They get paid in your data. When you sign up for Flipgrid, they're able to see the country, name, email, and password of the grid owner. Now notice I said grid owner. That's the teacher's information that's being collected. The only information being collected from students is their timestamp and the type of device that they're using. Any other data that might be collected from them is at the discretion of the grid owner which puts the teacher in charge. Another way Flipgrid makes money is by allowing third parties to pay to apply cookies to their app and website. Unfortunately, they're not the freshly baked kind. So minus the fact that we don't get real cookies and you as the educator are taking the brunt of the information collection payment system, Flipgrid's a pretty great tool. And it's accessible to anybody who has a phone with a camera or a computer with a webcam. Flipgrid is great for students who may get nervous presenting in front of their peers because it allows them to share their voice and ideas in a video format. It's also good for students who struggle with processing issues because they have time to think about what they want to say and multiple attempts to film. Another great feature for teachers is that you can set a time limit. This will help teach your students about time management and set expectations for the assignment. It also saves you from watching hours and hours of footage. Overall, Flipgrid gets one apple from the teacher for taking classroom discussion and putting it in video format. Half an apple for data because it's full of cookies that I can't eat. And a whole apple for differentiated learning because it allows the students to use a creative and interactive tool to express their thinking and learning. So overall, two and a half apples for Flipgrid. Thanks for talking Flipgrid with us. Make sure to follow us at hashtag UNToolParade and let us know in the comments what tools you would like us to talk about next.